guys, your boy Connor coming into you live, dude. It's been a hot minute, it hasn't it? Much appreciate the continued support, guys. I know it's been a while, work's been crazy, and then there's certain days where I probably should edit, sit down and edit, but the weather's just been awesome and I've just been riding a whole lot. We're finally getting close to hitting the 25,000 mile mark. We're about 200 miles away. We will probably more than likely for sure hit it tomorrow. Um, by the time you're watching this video, I probably already hit the 25,000, but be sure to hit the Instagram because I'm doing the drive for 25K. Hashtag the drive for 25K giveaway. Be sure to hit the hashtag, hit up the channel, uh, hit up the Instagram, at ConnorFXTV, all one word. Same thing as the YouTube. And, and check out the details of how to enter. And it's going to be kind of something just a, my, my way of saying thanks to everyone that's been a part of the journey of hitting 25,000. This is my second year only of riding a motorcycle. Uh, kind of like a quick backstory is that my first year, I did not want to be a noob. And a lot of people that I reached out to to ride with, they said, yo, hit me up when you have at least you know a couple thousand miles in your belt because they may not feel comfortable riding with a new rider. Maybe some new rider has crashed into them, but whatever the case was, I said, I'm gonna get on the road and just ride. And so with that being said, I did. I went ahead and did that. Did not hit my 10,000 mile mark that I wanted to for the year, for the first year. So I said for the second year, you know what? Let's set that goal higher. So we went for 15,000 and we are doing just that. Broke the 10,000 mile mark a couple months ago and the last 5,000 miles, I'm just kind of doing a little willy nilly. And with the last month being in, we're gonna knock it out tomorrow. Be sure and do that. Let me know. How many miles y'all ride in a year? How you just want to ride? But it doesn't matter if you're trying to do wheelies, burnouts, drifts, whatever it is, or you just like to cruise down the street, maybe do some turns. Just get out and ride, dude. That's the main thing. Get on two wheels, love it, live it, and everything. But anyway, coming back, let me say a couple of huge thanks to some companies that have been really helping me out, you know, supporting the channel and just overall great people. First, let me go ahead and give a shout out to Larry Mills and DP Brakes Racing. They went ahead and supplied some clutch discs as well as brake pads for the Dyna. They're coming on board as for the HD Collective as a sponsor. Uh, initially just sponsoring my bike and then depending on how it goes, we're gonna go ahead and throw some more stuff to the other bikes. So huge thank you to Larry and DP Brakes Racing. I met them over at the Las Vegas Drag Special Dealer Ride as well as Nick and Jeff over at Trash Performance. Go ahead and hit the drop down menu below. Their links are down there. Nick and Jeff were super kind. You know, they answered a bunch, bunch of my questions, shot the shit. Overall, everyone that I met out there was awesome. And then with that being said, touching base on Las Vegas, James, again, huge thank you for allowing me the opportunity to come out with you at Memphis Shades as part of the HD Collective. Again, you've done a whole lot and I much appreciate it. And then just seeing behind the scenes of what the industry does was awesome. I met a lot of cool people. Met guys from Revzilla, met Mike from Get Lowered. Uh, met Daryl from Bassani, met the fueling guy, saw Holden's bike, uh, Sea Bear stunts. I mean, I saw a bunch of people. I was fanboying like a mother effort. So, anyway, moving on. What you can see here is the Bell Power Sports Rolling Sands Edition Chief Helmet. This thing retails at around $800. Hot damn, dude. That's a whole lot of cheddar. Yes, it is. But after wearing this today, the initial impression, I can definitely see where the $800 goes to. That being said, we're gonna kind of do a little comparison. We're gonna break this down a little bit, kind of like the weight, and that's the general ish, but not the dimension, none of that, because I mean, who really cares about that? Yes, it's good to see it if it fits your head, but we'll kind of just wing it. And then just kind of talk based on from what the lane splitters, the Scorpion helmet that I have, and what this one compares to. But, so touch base on this one. This one comes around just around uh, four pounds. It's, it's a pretty light helmet. It looks sleek. It comes with a clear face shield. You can order the mirrored shields after or put them in your cart on top of it so you can swap them out. The shields are about 60 80 bucks. Uh, I found some on Amazon for about 40 to 60 depending on which one you got. And overall impression of this thing, this thing is freaking wicked. Badass. Well worth the money, dude. So, Roland Sands has several edition of helmets. You got a couple of different paint sets. Some of them are on sale. I know Get Lord had one for like 250 bucks for that was like a 2017 uh, with it was like the gray, red, and some gold accents. They have a carbon fiber one with gold accents throughout the helmet. I think it's the London Ace uh, edition. Then they have the other one that straight up Roger dude I've seen in rock where it's the all white with some red accent on the chin and some gold accents throughout to where they're all awesome, you know, depending on what you want. You also have all carbon fiber one. You have a gloss one. You have all kinds of stuff. This one's going to fall into the Ray Star out of the Star family because you have the Bell Qualifier. You got the Bell Star, you got the Bell Race Star, and then you also have the Bell something else. I don't know, but the Pro Star, I want to say it is. And that one's about $1,400. Um, this is just off the top of my head from when I remember seeing it. Overall, this is a great helmet. Love the look. I've already gotten a couple compliments from it. 
and the first thing I noticed was the fitment. It is tight, but it's not the unbearable kind of tight to where it's snug. It's like a new helmet. It did smell super new. And that was the one thing. All the other helmets I've had, you know, they smell new, whatever. But this one smelled like when you get into a luxury car, boom, and that smell just stays and smells super good. And so that was the first thing. Felt super soft. And as for the tightness, it was pretty tight around my cheeks. I wore a size large. This is a large, fits true to size. The only thing is it does feel like a brand new helmet to where everything's super tight. I even had my sunglasses on, but I had to take them off after about an hour riding because since it was so tight around the temples and the glasses pushing in, it gave me a bit of a headache. So I went ahead and removed them, gave myself a break, put them back on. But then again, within 40 minutes, the headache came in to where it was just too much pressure. So I went ahead and removed them, gonna break it in. The only downside to what I'm seeing on this one is that it does not have a cutout for the Cena system because it does have a small cutout for your ear to fit through. So that way it's not squishing your ear. But that's pretty much it. Other than that, it's going to be the actual shell. They have their technology, which is kind of like a rotating to absorb as much impact and keep your head safe and protected. And then it's the, the cushion and the foam. So where that's pretty much all it is. Where the ears are cut out, you can see where the foam is that's right underneath the actual shell. And so I'm not sure if a Cena system will work. I'm hoping to find out. I'm more, I'll more likely get the 20S speakers and just throw that in there and just try it out. But from what I've reached out to a couple, from a couple people have told me is that the Cena 20S or the Cena 20 does not work with the Ray Star because it's uncomfortable. So we will be finding that out. I do love this helmet. I have taken tons of photos of it already. And let me know what y'all's initial impressions are of if you rock one or if you just are looking to get one. Now, moving on to the shield is that it's got a two point system up and down you can lock it uh but that's pretty much it i have gotten used to running with pretty much open shield with the lane splitter is pretty much how i run it all the time i like that helmet it's comfortable but whenever you run the open shield there's a lot of wind buffing it's just like that so you have to close it and it's it's a little warm and with this one, I was kind of like, oh man, you know, I'm used to my Scorpion and the lane splitter. The Scorpion is probably the hottest one I have with everything closed and I really like to run it open. But with the Scorpion, the visor open is not conducive. It makes a lot of noise. I say, okay, nope. So I close it halfway. With the lane splitter, I just rock completely open. This one, that's with the, since I'm used to the other helmets, I was like, man, it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be hot. Nope, it is not. Uh, I like it. Super comfortable. Breathes really well. I felt a little bit of forehead sweat. Uh, when I was riding, but I felt a lot of wind going through it. So that was good. Um, it was about 80 degrees today as our high, maybe 78. And so it's got lots of venting. You got top vent, uh, chin vent, and you also have a back vent. It's pretty aggressive styling. It's just overall awesome. I keep on saying that, dude. Like I'm super impressed with this helmet just because one, it looks super awesome. It looks amazing and two it's kind of like one of those things that you wanted for a while and you weren't sure you're were gonna get it and you finally get it yeah dude because i love this back end it just it's awesome i see there i go again i just really like the way it's styled it's kind of like a high side in the back and as for aerodynamics let's touch base on that that's where i was really impressed some of the people say this is kind of um you don't need the race star a lot of people opt for just the star because they feel this is kind of a racetrack helmet kind of like the pro star the Pro Star, the way it's styled, is going to be for a certain type of riding where you're kind of hidden behind the cowl and have all the air going over over the top of you. And so I was kind of curious about that with this one. I've seen a couple of reviews where they say that same thing, but literally it's a cruiser helmet. It, I mean, you can also ap uh, adapt it to maybe some track days if you want to start getting into that. If you own a couple of little speed bikes or some sport bikes and you want to do all or take your Harley to the track. That's how I feel about it. Because I was riding normal style, just relaxed on top of my, I have 12, 13 inch T-bars. I just ride pretty much just like this, relaxed, like that, whatever. And it was different. It was to where I felt like I am sitting now, but except going 70, 80 miles an hour. And I turned my head, everything would just run off of it. Turn my head the opposite way, run off of it. I'd be doing all kinds of stuff. And the the way it deflects the wind is just amazing. Compared to the lane split, that's where I would can be the comparison between those two is because the lane splitter when I had the visor open there's a lot of draft hitting there's a lot of head turbulence and once I close it it's better but there's times where I'm going to work and I'm doing the same speed 70 80 miles an hour and I feel my head kind of moving a good amount it's pretty loud compared to this one this one on a scale of once in 10 on loudness I would say it's a 4.5 to 5 in the city highway it gets a little maybe 5.5 pushing 5.8 it's not quite a six to where it's, it's it's a quiet helmet 
but it's not quite on highway uh, to where you can hear exhaust, you can hear wind, but it's not bothersome. I do want to try to show you the RF-1200, just kind of give a, uh, a nice comparison between the two. Overall, on the helmet styling, 10 out of 10. Uh, the visual acuity, or just the overall field of depth, field of view. Field of view, I'd give 10 out of 10. I mean, it's pretty much like you're not even wearing a helmet. Comfortable, 9 out of 10. Oh, no, you know what? On comfort, I would say 7 out of 10, mostly just because right now I'm still breaking it in and it's a little tight, but hopefully with a couple weeks, then it's just perfect. And I'll probably push it to 10 out of 10. Pricing, it's a little high up there. I'd probably put a 6 out of 10 just because it is great to have a helmet that's going to you know provide more protection from you, uh, for you. Because certain helmets, I feel that they while they do protect your head for the no helmet, and certain high-impact crashes, I feel this one may provide a little bit better protection. As for the packaging, it comes in this box, which comes with a bag inside it, which in turn holds the helmet. It's a pretty wicked bag. I like it. Uh, it's, you know, some other ones just come with like a little sock, and while the sock still does its job, I feel this is actually going to get more use. Probably not for the helmet unless I'm traveling, but for other stuff, maybe even a lunchbox, gym bag, or bowling. Because Bell is the choice of professionals. And also, I would like to say a huge thank you to Matt Moto of Rebel Reaper Clothing. Rock and Rebel Reaper, Rebel Reaper, yeah, I hit a cool Black Friday sale. We've been kind of just talking, you know, commenting on each other stuff on Instagram. Great guy. Be sure to swing out to rebelreaperclothing.com as well as the Instagram at rebelreaperclothing. And just give him a holler. Say, what's up, man? I saw your uh, car give you a shout out. Much appreciated. Love your stuff, etc. So I just go say hi. Let him know I sent you. And just go from there. All right, guys. Well, that's the initial impression. I'm in love with it. We're going to try to get some footage coming up. We're going to have the shield coming. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all want to see anything in particular. Again, much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button. So be on the lookout for the Drive 25K. And it's your boy. Much appreciated, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Toodles. See, time goes by, but I swear that it's stalling. I've had it all, but it all just feels the same. No lie, I've been praying.